Greetings, folks. I'm Tim Mendes. Uh, welcome to a welcome to a very special, uh, unscheduled, random live into your living room uh, thingy, my Bob. Uh, yes, because I have a, a very important, very cool announcement for you this evening uh, about a, a very a, a release that's coming out very, very soon. In fact, it's coming out this Saturday, the 26th, I believe. Uh, and it is part of an ongoing series from Erie River Publishing. Uh, let me just pull their thing up. There you go. So if you want to check out Erie River, uh, so go to their website. Uh, and just to tell you a little bit about this series, which what I'm about to announce is going to be a part of, uh, I'm delighted to have been joined tonight all the way from Canada by Michelle River from Erie River Publishing. Are you ready there, Michelle? Yes, yeah. I think. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Excellent. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, yeah I know well, you're thank you for having me. Oh, I know you're ridiculously busy at the, at the moment, Sarah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not even that I'm busy. It's just that, like, my kids are, like, on top, on, like, level 10 right now. And I'm just like, <laughs> why are you all being so crazy? <laughs> so it's something in the air. It's probably the know, sort of, like, summer's know. here. You know? <laughs> I know. I don't know if it's because, like, we do have, like, a couple thunderstorms rolling through. But still, like, my toddler's on full stop. Like she woke up this morning, like an hour and a half earlier than normal, and was like, "I'm ready to go," and has been like that since since this morning. It's just oh God! Like, oh. <laughs> Probably found the coffee in the middle of the night or something. <laughs> no, I don't know. She, I wish I woke up child. with that much energy, right? Like, oh, I would be yeah. so productive. Yeah. Mm. That's the thing, you get all of it when you're a kid, when you don't know what to do with it, so you just drive everybody around you insane. Yeah. And by the time you're older, when you need energy, nope. getting out the sofa's too much hassle, you know? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, um, would you like to um, just tell us a little bit about after, uh, where the concept from it came from, that kind of thing? Well, I, I'm i just, uh, I've always enjoyed, um, well, I guess... Let's start with what is after. After yeah, what is, is after. There yeah, we go. It is essentially like it's an eight part mini series of unconnected stories all based around one theme. And the theme is what would the world be like after a worldwide cataclysmic event? So something that like ripped the world apart. There's not many people left. What is human civilization like now or then kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so uh, like I fell in love with this idea and I really wanted to, well, I personally wanted to write something for it. Yes. I remember at the time you said, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, the time I was one of the thing and um, yeah, it was something I really wanted to do, but looking at my schedule, I'm like, I don't have time to really um, read hundreds of stories coming in. Um, so I yeah. thought I'd do like an experiment kind of thing for Erie River because we've never done something that was invite only before. So I invited yeah. some of the people that I have loved reading, uh, like you um, and uh, Jay Sandlin <laughs> and David yeah. and TM Brown um, and Holly Cornetto. So uh, Kim Ray, Joel Hunt, I'm trying to think who else. Is Chris Hewitt. Chris Hewitt. That's Chris Hewitt. It. Like, yeah. This is what I'm doing the cover for right now. So if I forget, yeah, yeah. I'll be in trouble. <laughs> um, so uh, I collected those eight people and uh, asked them if they would like to be involved. And uh, yeah, lucky enough, everyone said yes. And now we're just finally putting it together and putting it out. So it's being released uh, one story at a time. And then at the end, it will be an accumulation of like a giant book of all of these stories mm -hmm. together. That'll be a mighty tome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm planning it in my head what it's going to look like. I'm, I'm really excited of how. Yeah. I just, I'm excited about how it's coming together so far. It's really some very interesting concepts and unique um, themes because everybody, as you know, had a different event that happened and why the world is where they are. And um, so it's really interesting to see yeah. how, where everyone I, I, went. I'm, yeah, because I mean, like the ones we got out now, they're totally like all three of them are completely different from each other. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're all I'm, very dark, but everyone mm. has not only does everyone have a different style, but everyone's taken a different dark genre almost as well. Yeah, because yours is weirdly you enough Lovecraftian. Yeah, no, funny that. <laughs> I don't know where you got the idea. Yeah, who does who does some kid be Lovecraftian? <laughs> <laughs> but it starts with uh, derelict, and again, they can be read completely out of order. Uh, yeah. But it starts with Derelict, and that one is more of like a really grim, dark horror. Mm. And then goes um, into more dystopian horror yeah. with, yeah. with um, David. With David's, his more like dark his fiction. More, not, yeah, his is yeah. more like the video game Fallout and Zed for Zachariah, that kind of business, isn't it? It's uh, Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Jay Sandlin's, He's gone me, Mad Max. almost like, <laughs> for me, it's, it's like reminiscent of like an 80s, um action Mad that's why Max, i'm really excited about reading it because i love them films like running man and mad max and all that kind of business rollerball <laughs> and all that all them <laughs> things it's just that kind of that's kind of bit isn't it yeah. That kind of yeah so yeah it's definitely it's taken on a life of its own and i'm really excited about seeing them all all together and having them all be released separately so it's yeah. pretty cool and it's a really cool concept and it was like that i i, I, I was really interesting because I knew I, I knew pretty much instantly where I wanted to take mine and everybody else was kind of like I want to go this I want to do this and I want to do that and I was just like oh this is going to be quite bonkers because everybody's got completely disparate yeah. ideas <laughs> which I think I think it worked really well especially because it's so it is so out there and like mm. there's so many different um different takes yeah. on it so it's yeah. really kind of cool yeah um, just before we continue any further, I forgot to say at the top because I'm an idiot, uh, but we will be doing a giveaway for, for tonight for a couple of um, ebook copies mm -hmm. of my in this, my one in this, uh, which I'll tell you about very, very, very shortly. Uh, all you've got to do to be entered into that draw, and we'll do it before we go off air tonight, uh, is just comment. That's all you've got to do. Just say hello, just wave or whatever, and we'll. Like that. Yeah, yeah, just like that. I've got my hat. I'm not you doing the octopus pot again after the other day. That was a disaster. Uh, oh God, I, I did it again. I'm like, did I you did break it? it? Like, did yeah, it? Yeah, I did it again. I did it again. Yeah. Uh, Someone <laughs> so needs any octopus pot. Octopus yeah. pot. <laughs> yeah. Either that or just stop being such a clumsy idiot. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> oh God, I'm so clumsy. I'm, I'm like one of the most accident prone people you'll ever meet. <laughs> Oh, I am a terrible. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so, well, I was delighted to be asked, obviously. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd, I've been looking for an excuse to go kind of where I went for a while. I'd had this yeah. idea um, for a while. So I'll tell you what, should I put on the, that video, the video I made? Yeah, uh, I think Do so. the cover reveal. Yeah. yeah. So, excellent. Yes, I'm proud to unveil tonight my entry in After, which is called The Creeping Void. And this will be the first time you will have seen the cover. And I, like, I think Michelle's done a great job on it. Uh, so what I will do is I will bring that up when I can figure out the buttons. There we go. love the sound in this one like you did uh yeah tim did this one himself because he sent it to me earlier he's like do you like this i'm like yeah but like well, is there like cows and stuff mooing in the background yeah yeah <laughs> distorted distorted ones because i'm because I, i've done like because i'm a dj and stuff i've got i'm yeah. on one of these stock sound effect yeah. things because i put them in remixes and stuff so i'm just like oh right i need some wonky back out of tune bagpipes <laughs> i love it <laughs> so funny it, it goes really well it's just no, i was I hoping it. i was hoping you'd, you'd think that and not just go what is he on <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> I know. is it something you can send me in the post <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I will take it. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. It's uh, called the creeping void, and as you can probably tell by them random sound effects, uh, that it takes place in the Scottish Highlands in mm -hmm. uh, a in a wonky future. Uh, here's another here's another video of the cover. That Michelle did, which is a lot more professional than what I just did, uh, and has some very funky lightning effects, which I really like. Yeah. yeah. How did you do those? That, that was really cool. It's like <laughs> magic. It's like <laughs> I, I have can make magic. words pop up on a screen, and that is it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I really enjoy those live covers. So now that you've done your cover mm. reveal, I'm going to stick it up on the Eerie Verver one. Oh, perfect. I was yeah. waiting. I was like, wait, he's doing the cover reveal today, so I'll wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's what I'm going to do. You, that one you just put up, I'll put that on the on mine and put it about the place. Exactly. And, yeah. Because yeah. I think they're quite eye catching, aren't they? Little videos, little vignettes. The vignettes, as, exactly. The vignettes as they're known. Yeah. Uh, yes, excellent. Yeah, so um, as you probably you may have seen on the bottom of that video, if you weren't too busy laughing at the random mooing and the, the thunder and the wonky bagpipes, <laughs> there is a, a link. Uh, and that is how you can pre-order a copy now. Uh, it is getbook.at forward slash creeping underscore void. Uh, it will be it will be available on Kindle Unlimited for a limited time, I believe that's what. Right. For sure, it's going to be until we have the whole collection as well. Right. So, um, yeah, for a while. So then, I'm going to say it's probably going to, for the next six months, most likely. Uh, but after that, I'm not sure if we're going to keep it on Kindle or if we're going to pull and go wide. So uh, Kindle yeah. Unlimited now. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, we all you Kindle Unlimited fans, get 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 yourself on there. Exactly. Uh, you will yeah, read and it will through be available, all of them. Yeah, and it will be available in a, is it the mini little dinky yeah do you know what i have whoop. i got two of them here right now well, hey i love the mini book size that oh yeah nice. these ones are the four by sevens so uh, yeah they're away. the same they're like my burning reflection was yeah yeah, they're, they're, yeah. I love yeah them. and then we've got the david green one and oh, mine's yeah. still mine mine hasn't come for quantum rule yet and then i'm going to be ordering one for yours too yeah yeah Brilliant. Very exciting. And then Brilliant. I think when it's in the collection, I'm actually going to upsize the next one because it's going to have everyone. So it's going to be a six by nine that has all of them. So ah. I'm going to do the the giant book. I think I think I'm going to be nice. Doing yeah. The, the Yeah. 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 The, the proper door wedge ones, you know, the ones you can yes. put tables up with. Yeah. Yeah. The one that's I, I got like that. a good flop when you open it. Yeah. It's yeah. Good good flop. Flop. Yeah. 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 I love those. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you're you're weird like I am, but you, yeah. you, you you like books. I do. <laughs> We've talked about this before. We're both a bit odd. Yeah, <laughs> they're book fetishists. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we've had a couple of comments already. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Green is here. Hello, Squire. Uh, <laughs> this one. <laughs> <coughs> from the aforementioned Mr. Hewitt. Yeah, given that yeah. soundscape, I'm already shitting myself. <laughs> it is pretty odd. I will, I will admit that. <laughs> it is pretty weird. Um, excellent. Yeah, so um, what I'm going to do now is I'll just, I'm just just thinking, should I just read people the blurb? I would. Yeah. If you want to do a little, whatever you want to do, if you want to do a little Yeah, if I just give them give a little read of the blurb. Um, Oh, before I do that, what I'll say is, um, like I say, I will be doing a live launch event on the 26th, which is this coming Saturday. I will sort out the uh, event and everything tomorrow morning-ish, <laughs> depending on how much coffee I have when I wake up. Uh, and uh, I'm useless without coffee, I'll tell you. Yeah, seriously, I'm terrible without coffee in the morning. I'm useless. I'm not a morning person. Uh, and... Uh, you never guess, would you? <laughs> You're up crazy early too in the morning, aren't you? Oh, I am. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Well, the thing is, because I've always worked. I do like since leaving school, I've worked in catering, so I've always worked yeah. split shifts and really unsociable hours. So I'm yeah. pretty much nocturnal. 
<laughs> <It's>, yeah. <laughs> chefs, we all are. We're all nocturnal. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, I will um, put that up tomorrow. Uh, and I will do another giveaway on that, which will be the more the usual style, uh, where I'll be giving away three signed copies, which I will get at a later date and sort out. But that's all another day. We'll sort that all out. I'll, I'll put up the event for that tomorrow. Uh, just keep your eyes open for it. Uh, yeah, so before I write, scribble some names in a hat and all the rest of it, I will just give, if you are watching and you want to be entered into the prize draw, just say hello, just comment, just, you know, just make us know we, you're there. Unfortunately, I can't tell who's liked it because you did, uh, I have no idea. I know, it does, <laughs> it does, it's, uh, yeah. Do it through StreamYard, you can't, I can't, right. can't see without going into Facebook. And then it'll just do that horrible thing where it's like playing myself back at myself and it all goes weird. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, right. so write your name down or a comment, say anything, yep. and you will be put into a draw, and he will draw you to get a free digital copy. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. Easy peasy. Indeed. Yeah, no hassle. <laughs> this is what David gets it, and Chris Hewitt says it's a fix again. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, so, yeah, I will give you the, the, uh, the, the blurb from the Amazon page. Um, so the Creeping Void, which is uh, terror in the Highlands, part of after a post-apocalyptic survivor series. Beware the void. Since the void descended, the earth has become a twisted nightmare of its former self, where something ancient stalks the hills and valleys. One last bastion of humanity is the Scottish Highlands, where things have devolved into a Jacobian clan structure Technology has been corrupted and the use of it outlawed. Tom and Willie, two hapless clansmen, find their simple lives disrupted when a strange girl crosses their path. Unwittingly, they are led to a group of white coats working on unlocking the secrets of the void. With time running out, they are forced to choose sides or risk the world. The Creeping Void is the Lovecraftian-inspired dystopian novella you didn't know you needed. I love that. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> this is just one of eight epic stories that delve into the grim possibilities of future civilizations rent asunder by disaster and change forever. This is not our world. This is the world after. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah, you did a great job on that. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, just made me smile when I saw it this morning. <laughs> yeah. I know I sent you the link and I was like, it's finally up. <laughs> the link is finally up. It's here. It's here. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's have a look. What we got here. Yeah, we had a couple. It is a it's always the Scots, <laughs> David. <laughs> nice. And so I think Chris is alluding to football, but I have no idea. <laughs> I, 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 I have no idea about football at all. <laughs> it's, like, it's like an alien concept to me, people running around booting bits of leather. It's, uh, you know... It is. Um, I, 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 it's, I'm, not, I'm not exactly what you'd call a, a sports fan. <laughs> so, right. What I'm doing now is just quickly scribbling these down. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, but uh, uh, the concept of a small novelette novella. Yeah. I think a lot of people. Um, are liking them. Um, yeah. They're better than like a, just a small short story where uh, it doesn't give you a little bit of world building, but it's also, it's something that you can sit down and you can read it if you want to. With yes. It. It's like one time, like one pass through, which is a lot of fun because you get your, your resolution you're looking for. I find. Yeah, I, I personally love um, like these these like small mini book concept things. I think they're brilliant, or they will be, 
um, for when like trains are running again. Because I, yes. I, go, I go to a lot of gigs and things up and down the country. So I spend a lot of time on train. And these are going to be absolutely perfect for, you know, sit on, sit on a train, get myself a gin and tonic, have a bit of a read, fits in me sporran when I'm done. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> They're a great concept. And they do seem to be... Uh, uh, they, so I've seen quite a few different... Either my internet is going wonky or his internet is going wonky. Yeah. But, uh, I, guess yeah, I have no idea what happened there. Oh, it was your internet. I'm like, either mine is going wonky or yours is going wonky. Yeah, I've got no idea. It just basically did a random thing. But I was, I could still see myself down the bottom here. And I could still see you. It was just the main screen that went wonky. Yeah. So it may have been Facebook that had a wobble, to be honest. Uh, that's happened to me before, to be honest. Yeah. Right. You know, I don't Blame Facebook. They just. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm enjoying. I, I like the little the little book series. Makes me think that maybe we should look into doing something like this again. Yeah, I mean, it is, it's a cool concept. And like I say, mm. they do. It's like I've even seen them in like the bookshops now and the Waterstones. Yes, I've started to see mini books in them. Very cool. Uh, and stuff like little novellas and things like that. And it's like cool because for a while you never saw novellas in like. Your, your standard bookshops and things like no, that. No, you didn't. But I'm starting to see more novellas and things, which is great because I mean, a lot of what I a lot of what I read, a lot of um, weird fiction and cosmic horror tends to be in novellas because a lot of them are the sort of concept that don't stretch to yeah. enormous books. You know, uh, it's like a Lovecraft never wrote a full length novel; it was all novellas. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, so. Hmm. Right, so without further ado, because especially if this is going to break, I'll probably get this over with. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't break it! Yeah, right, okay, I've got my hat, there we are, give it a shake, there we go, and there's a name, okay, that's Lindsay, that'll be Lindsay Ellis Holloway, you have won a digital copy, there you go. <laughs> How many of these am I doing? <laughs> How I many? Do two. Sure. Two. Let's do two. Sure. Here we go. So, Lindsay, you've got one. And. Giandri. I just hope I'm saying your name properly. Uh, Giandri Nell. Giandri Nell. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, apologies if I said your name. Well, I've got, yeah. But congratulations. Uh, I'll be in touch and we'll. When I get the link from Michelle, I will send it over to you. Yeah, it should uh, be so getting yeah. it tonight after the kids go down. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, so I'll look out for it tomorrow. Look out for it tomorrow. Yeah. Excellent. You should, you should play the video again. Indeed. I was I actually should do that and play it out on the video, don't you reckon? Absolutely. Yeah. Get everyone the – do the animated one first. The animated one. Right, okay, cover. yeah. I'll do the animated cover first. I'm very proud of it. Like, look at all it's that. It's awesome. Stuff. I think it's great. I, I, I was, I've actually watched it a couple of times. I was like, look at the way the clouds moving. That's really cool. <laughs> this bit here, over to this side. <laughs> yeah. Right. And <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Um, I tell you what. We'll just wrap it up, and then we'll close out on that. Uh, so yeah, like I said earlier, um, it'll be out on the Saturday. This is how you pre-order. You go get book dot at forward slash creeping underscore void. Uh, it will be in Kindle Unlimited. Uh, there will be a launch party on the Saturday, which I will let everybody know about tomorrow. Uh, thank you very much for joining me tonight, Michelle. It's, yeah, it really? makes these things so much better when I've got somebody to talk to. It's just weird talking to yourself all the time. <laughs> It's really odd sometimes. I'm like, yeah, so what do you think? Yo, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, oh, <laughs> brilliant. I'm such yeah, a good yeah, here. <laughs> yeah, it's like developing split personality. It's really weird. Very true. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's no wonder I've got a bit mad. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> uh, uh, yes, and she is from Erie River Publishing. And uh, yes. yeah, go check them out. 
Uh, also check out their anthologies that are out at the moment. Uh, their latest one, it calls from the sea, an absolute cracking read. Yeah. And there it is. Yeah. Oh, my my like has actually finally turned up the other day, so I'm really happy. Did it finally that. turn up? Yeah, yeah. 480 some odd pages, this one is. It's a big old book. Yeah, when I picked Giant. it up, when I, like the hardback, it was like, I really don't, I just know at some point I'm going to drop this on my toe. I know. It's just, it's like, I'm we're going to break, gonna break, gonna break your toe time. by dropping it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, excellent. Yeah, so uh, thank you, Michelle, for joining us. And thank you all for watching. And I'm going to leave you with... Yeah, now buy the book. Yeah, yeah. and buy that book. Buy it. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <where is> <laughs>